Hello there and welcome to Youth TV. Now, it's today it's all about youth empowerment. She has been in youth development for over 20 years and is now the founder and CEO of the Youth Banner. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Wamoyo Mahinda. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Michelle. So, uh, you're the founder, you're the CEO. Tell us about the Youth Banner. Hey, the, the Youth Banner is, um, I could say, is my dream come true. Because uh, before I founded the Youth Banner, I worked in several youth organizations. But um, in 2006, I, I was given an assignment uh, to go around the country running a business plan competition that um, was encouraging youth to go into enterprise development. And therefore, I got to meet very many kinds of youth. You can imagine going around the country and meeting youth in urban areas, in rural areas, employed youth and employed youth and challenged youth, happy youth, you know, you, know, you name it, and talking to them. And I realized that um, those who wanted to go into business specifically had, a, had a, needed more support, needed not just a one-week business training, but a, a process um, to help them think through the idea, build the idea, and get support in different areas uh, towards business success. So that, it's that thought, that, that need that uh, drove me to, to start the Youth Banner. So we started in 2010, and um, with no resources, I could say, other than the passion. <laughs> and then uh, with time, I, I started off alone, and I, I got a few other volunteers because I couldn't afford to pay anybody to work with me. So we developed the website um, and we developed the, the first, the curriculum, the, our, our flagship program that is called BIP, which is Banner Economic Empowerment Program. It is one, it's our flagship program still running today. The, 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 the BIP program is um, a program that handholds a young person for a period of six months. Because that was what we discovered as we went around the country that people, you know, young people need to be handheld. So we start with a young person who has an idea and we encourage them to think through that idea. And then as they think through the idea, we help them write the business plan, which is a big challenge for many young people. So uh, then, and that is a process that takes time. We, we, we don't expect that they, they will do it in a day. So we start by giving them business, business skills, entrepreneurship skills. Um, we talk about finances, we talk about marketing, customer service, human resources, and then they build the business plan. As they're doing that, we connect them to financial assistance, and also to markets. And then we have a program, a mentorship program that we launched in 2011. So currently we have over 300 professional professionals who mentor the youth through our program. It's called the Youth Banner Mentors Program. Then we have other, other components of the program, like in some areas we've introduced the digital literacy. We have, um, we're working with uh, different partners uh, where we have um, young, young, I mean, uh, the young people going to these centers to learn ICT because in this generation, you can't get very far without ICT. So we believe in digital literacy and, and that we are providing along the way. So in 2015, our focus will be the growth of the enterprise that we built in the last four years. So we have a program called Ajira, which is now a new, and well, it's not a new program, but we're going to put more emphasis in it, where we are saying, we have helped to start an enterprise. You've come this far. Now you want to become bigger. You want to employ five people, 10 people, 20 people. We want to work with you and ensure that you do that. And of course you have the, another program, AMCA. AMCA to Jinue is, is a women-only program. It's interesting because we did a research at the beginning. At the beginning of the, we did a lot of things at the beginning and I guess it's all very interesting because we did a, a particular research to find out um, as we were starting the beep clubs, why is it that we have less women in the beep clubs? We had more men then. And we, so we went around uh, interviewing young women and they told us, no, we want to do our own business. We want to have a group of women doing the same thing. So no problem, that's what we want. We start a program called Amuka to Jinue. And, and, and that's the ATG that you've been hearing about. And it's women only. And, and really, it still has its place today because we still find that women are social animals. They want to work together in a group. And, and, and the, the beauty of that is that when they start an, an enterprise, they're able to have a schedule. And I'm gonna take you a little bit back uh, about what your aim is, what your vision is, and what your mission is. In organization, yeah. um, our, our, we, we see we our vision from the very start has been developed and economically empowered youth. We we, don't, we want to see young people in a situation where they can take care of themselves and take care of their homes when they get married and take care of others in the community. And this can only happen if they are economically empowered. We are aware that um, jobs are not available for all persons, even those who have gone through the university. They are still not able to access jobs yeah so we're telling them you don't have to have a job you can create a job for yourself and other people and we are here to help you do that 
Yeah. So our, our mission, therefore, is to ensure that the, the, the youth have uh, sustainable livelihoods through entrepreneurship. And, and it's happening because when, when we go back to the communities where we work, we find that our, our young people are well-dressed. I mean, the basic things, they, they, are, they are now not walking, they have a motorbike. They are now not in a semi-permanent house, they are in a stone house. I mean, the basic things that matter, the children go to school dressed smartly in uniform. Some are married because they were not married when we started off with them. That for us is development. But we are saying that's not all, we can do more. And doing more is helping those already in enterprises that have reached where they are to go to the second, second level or the third level. You see, because of the education system, and, and, and many of the young people can identify with this, business was never taught in primary school or in high school. And unless you went to university and studied business, business administration, you might never have known anything about how a business is run. So when they come to us and we give them the six months training, it's a good start. But if they want to grow, then the six months is not enough. We need to invest another six months or even a year to ensure that they've given them additional skills that are required to upskill an enterprise. So that's, that's how we are, we are making sure that they are, they, are, they, are, they are economically empowered and that their livelihoods are changed forever. Yeah. That's nice. So uh, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the youth banner and would want to join or become members. How do you select these youth so that you can maybe train them, coach them, mentor them? How do you select them exactly? Okay, that's a good question and a lot of people ask us about uh, the criteria for selection. Fortunately for us, not everybody, I don't know whether it's fortunate or unfortunately, but not everybody can, can be an, 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 a business person or should I say an entrepreneur. And um, in the community, a lot of people can identify the entrepreneurs because there are people who have even tried several enterprises and failed and don't give up and start another one. So sometimes we say the criteria for selection is how many businesses have you tried? You've tried three and now you want a fourth one, ah, you qualify. <laughs> <laughs> because it means that you have an entrepreneurial spirit and you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not a quitter. And therefore, whatever we help you do, then you can succeed. That's one. Two, the community is able to help us identify people already in enterprise who have been running enterprises for a while but without the experience to do it and to do it well. So that's the other criteria. The third criteria is people who come to us insisting that that's what they want to do and we listen to them and we can, we can identify with the passion that they have to be an, 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 an you know, entrepreneurs. So we allow them into the program. So there are several ways that we, we do this. And, and um, at, the, at the bottom, at, at the end of the day, you, re, you, re, you must want to be an entrepreneur to succeed, yes. You must have the urge. You must have the urge, the passion. You must be able to work hard because it's hard to, like every job, it, it, it's hard work. You have to work hard. You have to um, be able to, to, to learn new, new, new skills that help you grow. And, and uh, young people do usually have those, those kind of things. So it, it's not always difficult if, you, if they want to, to be entrepreneurs. You told me that the youth banner started in 2011 and now it's, it's now 2014. Yes. So those are four years gone. Yeah, but we're on the fifth year because we still count the first year, the 2010, because I was thinking, yeah, you cannot, you cannot say it. <laughs> we cannot say we started in 2011 when we started implementation. We actually started in 2010 when we started the thinking. So we're on, the, on our fifth year. Okay, so, uh, yes. And you are organization that uh, targets the youth in providing empowerment and development. So what challenges have you gone through in that task? I think the, my, my biggest challenge as a founder is that I'm not reaching enough youth. I mean, I'm looking and saying we're doing so much, but we're not doing enough. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's like, I mean, many Kenyans, are, young people are, are suffering. They are still unemployed. They are still discouraged. They still need support in, in enterprise development and just in other areas of uh, growth. And we can only reach a small percentage. When we talk about reaching a thousand youth in a year, that's not good enough. So we, we are thinking of um, get, uh, working with more partners to reach more youth because we can see that now our program is tried and tested. It's, it's making a difference. We're happy with the way it's growing. If other, we have, we're asking other youth partners working with youth to come and, and join us so that we can together reach more young people and, 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 and make a difference in their lives. So in the next year, we'd like to grow to double our effort. Yeah, and even move to more counties than we are in right now. Yeah. In, you're in 27 counties now? 27 counties. How many do you want to reach? We, we just want to grow five more counties, so that we're in that is that 32 counties. And uh, if we go more than 32, that's fine, but it's good to be ambitious, but not too ambitious. <laughs> yes, if, if, yeah, that's the plan. The plan is to have a program. Okay, first of all, to go national. We're not yet national because we are not in all the 30, 47 counties. Once we know the 47 counties, then we can, we have, we have people who have talked to us about um, extend, extending our program to other East African countries like Uganda and Tanzania and even Burundi. And actually, let me mention uh, Somalia and South Sudan. 
and uh, we, ha we have not said no. We've said it's something that we, we are going to look into. So even as we grow nationally, there's a possibility that we'll do it concurrently with the, with the regional reach. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So what has been your biggest achievement as the founder and CEO of the... I think for me it's having a program that, that works, that has the impact. Because you can imagine um, spending the kind of resources you do and having no impact. That would make me, I would, I would not sleep at night. <laughs> so for me the impact is what drives me. When I visit the ent entrepreneurs and, and, and they are happy with what they're doing, I can see their livelihood, they ch they've changed, they're, they're smiling, they have families, they're well dressed. Then I, I, it just makes me just continue working harder every day. Yeah. So uh, apart from those centers that you have that train people, coach people and mentor people, uh, do you like, uh, how can the youth out there access you as the youth banner? Okay, they are, they are, okay they, through, we have, a, we have a, of course, the, the BIP clubs that are in the, the areas where we are working. But um, we've just started a new program with Intel Corporation where we are, we are, we are um, promoting digital literacy for women. And, and this is national, really. We are, we are, we are asking any, any partner working with women to reach out to us and we can agree on how to, to, to take our women through digital literacy. Yeah, yeah that, that's really good. I, I must say, it's, it's really amazing what you're doing for the youth out there. And what would you like to add? Anything you'd like to say or add? Um, I think what I would like to add is that um, in this area of um, youth employment, I don't like to say unemployment, I like to say employment. I'd always be have to, you know, half, half full and half empty. Yes, I have to be optimistic. We need to work together as, as a country. We need to build a synergy among ourselves as, as youth workers because we have solutions from different corners. If we bring those solutions together, I believe that we can surmount unemployment in this country. And that, that, that's a call to all youth workers in this country, yeah. Are you a mentor yourself? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I mentor my staff and, and the youth, every youth that comes my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that comes to the end of our interview. It was really amazing to have you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Of course, you can meet the CEO of Youth Banner in her Facebook page, Twitter page. And of course, you're watching Youth TV. I'm your host, Michelle Jaroge, and I'll see you next time. Have a lovely one.